In this video, we'll be looking at all the important formulas that are there in uh, quadratic uh, equations. Quadratic equations is a very important topic for all the MBA exams like CAD, ZAT, all of them. So in this video, we'll be looking at all the important formulas. If the quadratic equation is of the form AX square plus BX plus C is equal to 0, this will have two roots. The roots can be real or imaginary or equal. But if you assume that the two roots are P and Q, the value of P and Q will be minus B plus or minus square root of B square minus 4AC divided by 2A. That is one of them is equal to minus B minus square root of B square minus 4AC divided by 2A. The other one is equal to minus B plus square root of B square minus 4AC divided by 2A. The sum of the two roots P plus Q is equal to minus B by A. The product of the roots that is P into Q is equal to C by A. Now we also have some small shortcuts. If C and A are equal, that would imply that C by A will be equal to 1 or the product of the two roots is equal to 1. This would imply that the two roots are reciprocals of each other. Similarly, if B is equal to 0, the sum of the roots will be equal to 0. This would imply that both the roots are equal and opposite in sign. What do I mean by this? If you are looking at something like x square plus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0. Here the value of uh, c which is the constant term is equal to the coefficient of x square which is 1. In this case both the roots will be reciprocal of each other because the product of the two roots is equal to 1. Similarly if x square minus 9 is equal to 0. That is there is no term which has the coefficient of x. In this case the sum of the two roots will be equal to 0. We know the roots of this quadratic equation. The two roots are 3 and minus 3. Like we expected the sum of the two roots is equal to 0. If you don't want to remember all of these formulas, the two important formulas that you should remember is that the sum of the two roots is minus b by a, the product of the two roots is c by a. Let us solve some questions so that you will understand this concept better. If you are looking at the first question, the sum of the roots of the equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is equal to the sum of the squares of the reciprocals, then bc square, ca square and ab square are in which one? Are they in geometric progression, arithmetic progression or harmonic progression? Let us assume that the two roots are P and Q. What do we know about P plus Q? The sum of the two roots will be equal to minus B by A. What do we know about the product of the two roots? P into Q is equal to C by A. What we are told is that the sum of the roots that is P plus Q is equal to the sum of the squares of the reciprocals. That is this is equal to 1 by P square plus 1 by Q square or this is equal to p square plus q square divided by p square q square. If you are cross multiplying p plus q into p square q square is equal to p square plus q square. We know the value of p plus q, this is equal to minus b by a. We know the value of p q that is c by a, so p square q square will be c square by a square. So the left hand side will be minus b by a into c square by a square. The right hand side is p square plus q square. Can we calculate the value of p square plus q square? p plus q whole square is equal to p square plus q square plus 2pq. p plus q whole square is b square by a square. This is equal to p square plus q square plus 2c by a. Or the value of p square plus q square is equal to b square by a square minus 2c by a. Let us multiply the entire equation with a cube so that all the denominators get cancelled. So we are going to get minus bc square is equal to b square a minus 2a square c or we can simplify this as bc square plus ab square is equal to 2c a square. If you are looking at this equation, we have bc square, ab square and a square c. So, they are in an arithmetic progression which is option c. Let us look at another question. a and b are the roots of the quadratic equation which is x square minus t minus 3x minus 2t plus 1. What is the minimum possible value of a square plus b square? If a and b are the roots of this quadratic equation, the value of a plus b which is the sum of the roots is equal to minus b by a. So, this is equal to t minus 3. 
the value of the product of the roots which is a into b is equal to minus 2t plus 1. From this we can calculate the value of a square plus b square. a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. a plus b whole square is t minus 3 whole square. So, t square minus 60 plus 9 is equal to a square plus b square plus 2 times minus 2t plus 1 or t square minus 60 plus 9 is equal to a square plus b square minus 4t plus 2 or this would imply that a square plus b square is equal to t square minus 2t plus 7 which is equal to t minus 1 whole square plus 6. This would imply that the minimum possible value of a square plus b square will be equal to 6 which is option A. Let us now look at one more question. A and B are two people who are trying to solve a quadratic equation. The first person copies the coefficient of x incorrectly and the second person copies the constant term incorrectly. The first person obtains the roots as 4 and 32. The second person obtains the roots as 18 and 6. What is the modulus of the difference between the actual roots of the equation? If you assume that the first person's root, the quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Let us assume that this was supposed to be the quadratic equation. The first person got the value of b wrong, but he got the value of c correct, he got the value of a correct. So, if the actual roots are p and q, because he got c correct, because he got a correct, the product of the roots will remain the same. That is, the product of the original roots will be equal to 4 into 32 which is 128. The second person got the constant term wrong. That is, the second person got C wrong. But he got B correct and he got A correct. That is, he got the sum of the roots correct which is minus B by A. So, the sum of the roots of the second person is 18 plus 6 which is 24. So, essentially we are looking for two numbers P and Q such that P into Q is equal to 128. P plus Q is equal to 24. The two values of P and Q will be 16 and 8. So, the actual equation that he has is x square minus 24x plus 128 is equal to 0. But one person copied this wrong and he actually used this as x square minus 36x plus 128 is equal to 0. But because he used the same constant term, the product of the roots is the same. And because the sum of the roots is different for him, he got two different roots. The second person used the same uh, value of b. So, he used x square minus 24x, but he got the product wrong. So, he put this as x square minus 24x plus 108. Because of this, he got two other roots, but again in this case also, because the value of b is the same, the sum of the roots will be the same. The actual equation is x square minus 24x plus 128 and the two roots are 16 and 8. So, the difference between them is 8. Let us look at another question. Two quadratic equations are there such that the roots of the first equation are in the ratio of 1 is to 3. So, let us assume that the two roots of the first equation are k and 3k. And the roots of the second equation are in the ratio of 3 and 5. So, let the roots of the second equation be 3l and 5l. The sum of the roots of both the equations is the same. That is 4k is equal to 8l. What is the sum of the roots? k plus 3k is 4k. What is the sum of the roots of 3l and 5l? That is 8l. So, the value of k is equal to 2l. So, the roots of the first equation which is k and 3k are basically 2l and 6l. The second equation the roots are 3l and 5l. The product of the roots of the first equation will be 2l into 6l which is 12l square. The product of the roots of the second equation is 3l into 5l which is 15l square. So, the difference between the products is 3L square. Now, if both the roots are integers, what is the minimum possible difference? The minimum possible difference is 3L square and because they are integers, the value will be equal to 3. This will happen when L is equal to 1. We cannot have L to be equal to 0 because if L is equal to 0, all the roots will be 0. And then we will not have uh, the ratio of the two roots at the ratio of these two roots of 3 is to 5 and 1 is to 3 does not make sense. So, L cannot be equal to 0 because we do not want all the roots to be 0. 
So the minimum possible value of L is 1, in which case the difference will be equal to 3, which is option B.